let's tell the students that it's time. Let's see, and everybody needs to connect right now. Fausto, good evening. Let's see, there's Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Ready for today's class? Yes. Excellent, excellent. So tell me, how was your day, mister? Uh, I have a hard day. Oh, really? Yes, I in in this day ten every month I make a a report. A report. The, a report. A report Perfect. for the Dirección Nacional de Medicamentos. Oh really? Wow. Yes. Uh, today we need a present uh, inventory. Inventory. Inventory of all chemical that is in our warehouse okay all the chemicals that are because it's plural that are okay that uh, all the chemical that are in the warehouse okay wow interesting so it's a busy day for you a hard day yes yes well but the good thing is that you're in class right now don't worry uh, we are going to have fun we are going to be working on the module, we are on the manual, we are going to be working with a PowerPoint presentation that I prepare. We're going to analyze grammar, we are going to have conversation and practice again. So okay. we're going to be doing many activities. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. going to be fun. So let's see, let's see. There's Fausto. Fausto, good evening. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Good evening, teacher Douglas. How are you, mister? I'm fine. Thank you. Remember to activate the camera, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, okay. Okay, so how was your day, Fausto? Uh, good. Good? Good. Uh, see, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm in science room. So I'm still in the sala de ventas. Ahora me tocó atender. Okay. Me cuesta un poquito, un poquito hablar en inglés. No worry, don't worry. I have. Repeat Estuve ahí porque repeat normalmente. Me. Repeat with me. Okay. I have to attend. I have to attend. The sales room. The sales room. Perfect. You see? It's simple. So it was, okay, a, thank you. it was a very busy day. Many clients today? What? Were there many clients today? Did uh, you have many clients or not too many? Many, muchos. No. Not really. Good. No. Okay. Thank you, Fausto. Let's see. Okay. Mariela de Los Angeles, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. How was your day, miss? Uh, busy. 
Busy? Okay, tell me. Tell me something of what yes. you did today. Um, uh, very work. A lot of work. A lot. A lot of work. Oh, okay. perfect. A lot of work. Um, Do you have to deal with clients? Do you have to attend clients? Or uh, you work preparing preparing a content package? Oh so that's a lot of lot of numbers. Your head was like this. Yes. Uh, I have a headache. A headache. 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 Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Marila. Feliz. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Very well. Thank you. And you? I'm just fine here, ready to start the class. So, how was your day, Felicita? Um, very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. What did you do today? Tell me one of your activities. What did you have to do today? Um, a lot of activity. A lot of activities, okay. many different activities. Okay. Thank you very much, Felicita. Thank you. Let's see, Eliani. Hello, Eliani, how are you? Hello, good night. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Okay. I'm sick. Oh, really? What you got? Tell me, what are the symptoms? Uh, you have, okay. I have, or you can say, I got the flu. I, I got the flu. Okay. I got the flu. Okay, tell me, what are the I symptoms? See. What are the symptoms of the flu? What do you feel? Mm, those. Cough, okay, you have a cough. What else? Um, <clears throat> dolor de cabeza. Headache. Perdón? Headache. Headache. That's headache. the pronunciation. Okay, headache. So what headache. about, do you have a running nose? Yes. Okay, that's a running nose okay a running nose That's okay do you have a sore throat no no sore throat no sort okay well don't worry don't worry this class is short so we're going to take it easy we understand your situation hey guys remember please you need to activate the cameras thank you eliani Let's see, let's see who else is around. Uh, Mr. Walter, good evening. Walter, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. So, I am fine, relaxed. Okay. Uh, how was your day? Did you have a easy day, a difficult day? Um, so, so. Easy. Easy. Okay, that's yes. cool, that's cool. So that means that you come with all the energies here. Okay. Cool. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thanks to you, mister. Hey, Francisco, how are you? Hello, mister. Mr. Francisco Javier, good evening. Can you hear me? Because I cannot hear you. Okay, don't worry, Francisco. Perhaps it's something with the connection. Let's try again. Nope, the same. I still don't hear you. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll give you time. Perhaps it's something with the system. 
Let's see who else is around. Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Andrea? How was your day? Mm, easy day. Easy day. Cool. I like that attitude. She says, no problem. Easy. Good. Easy. Tell me. Tell me something of what you did today, then, Andrea. Tell okay. me one or two of your daily activities for today. What were your activities oh, today? Mm, a lot of activities. Could you tell me at least Paul, a two of them? Two. Remember two, please. Dígame al menos dos, please. Can what? You, can you tell me two of those activities? Oh, um, answer the phone constantly. Um, uh, okay, listen, listen. Answering, answering the phone constantly. Okay. Okay. Answering answer. the the phone constantly. phone constantly. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Andrea. Jorge. Hello, Jorge. How are you? Mr. George Reyes. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Tell me, how was your day, mister? Um, uh, my day was relaxed. Okay. I had a um, vacation day. Oh, really? One okay. day. Vacation or day off? Um, vacation. Okay. That's nice. You got just one day of vacation? Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, um, no sé cómo decir porque así no los tomamos en oh, el trabajo. You ask them when you need them. Yes. Cuando los necesita. That's cool. Yes. That's a good benefit. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Helen. Hello, Helen. Good evening. Good evening. How are you this lovely night? Tell me. Uh, I fine. You're fine. How was your day? Um, uh, my day um with a lot of work. Okay, yeah, that's normal. It's the middle of the week, so that's the routine right now. Thank you, Helen. Jessenia, good evening. How are you? Miss Yesenia Magaña, hello. Oh, yeah, there. hello. How are you, Miss? Not in the microphone. Uh, fine. Okay, okay. So, do you, how was traffic? Do you have to drive in the traffic? No, no, no. Mm. No, Not no. Traffic. No traffic. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Yesenia. There's Mr. Hey. Alonso Antonio. Good evening, Alonso. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine. You're fine? Okay, how was your day? Tell me. Did you have a My day, day, a bad day, a difficult one? Uh... Regular day. Regular day. Normal. Normal. Okay. Instead of saying regular, we can say average. Okay. Average. An average day. That means like nothing new, nothing different, the same routine. Okay. Average day. Okay. Well, thank you, mister. Okay. Let's see. Carla Marielos Guevara. Good evening. How are you? Hi, good good evening. 
I am very well. Okay, how was your day? A lot of activity. Oh, really? And what about traffic? There was traffic on your way home? Yes. Difficult traffic or normal? Difficult traffic. Okay. Did you get into any jam? Did you get into any traffic jam? Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Congestionamiento. Traffic, traffic jam. Okay, that's congestionamiento. Were there traffic jams on your way home? Yes or no? Habían congestionamientos on your way yes. home? Okay. So tell me, how long? How long? I'm asking for the time. How long, Carla, did it take you from your job to your home? One hour, two hours? Okay, listen, listen, look at me. How long? I'm asking for the time. How long did it take you? Cuánto? Take you from your job, from your work, to your house? Mm. One, one hour. One hour. hour. Okay, one hour? Yes. Okay, that's acceptable, one hour. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. And let's see, let's see, let's see, who else do I have here? Oh, before I continue, please guys, I'm going to take hands. So be ready, be ready. Fausto Antonio Landaverde Lopez. Present. Thank you. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present. Mariela de los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Present. Carla Adiacet Colocho de Parada. No. Eliani Alejandra Nativir Rivera. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present, teacher. Thanks. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present. Thanks. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Present. Thanks. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Present. Thank you, Mr. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Blanca. 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 Not here. Okay. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Thank you. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Thanks. Helen Maria Chavez Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla Gómez. Out here. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Thank you, Mr. Alonso Antonio Turcios Brizuela. Present. Thanks. Present. Andrea Natalie Espinalo Mansor. Hello, Andrea. Stay present, please. Present. Thank you, Miss. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear present, you the first present. time. Thank you, thank you. My bad. Okay, Wendy Susana Perez. Where is it? Right there. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Pedro Antonio Hernandez. No here, Pedro yet. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see. One, two, three, four absentees. For the moment. Okay, guys, today, what are we going to be working? Today's class is going to be very easy, easy, easy. Nothing to worry about, okay? Let me see. Uh, Let's check it out. 
Okay, guys, today we are going to be working again with regular daily activities in our workplace, and we are going to be watching a small presentation. We are going to make a small review of simple present tense. That is a topic that you already know, so it's going to be easy. Don't worry. Vamos a un poquito del presente simple. It's going to be easy cheesy. So let me check right now just a little detail here. Today, the pages for today with number 11 and 12 from your manual. Okay, so we are going to start right now straight with the manual. I just need you to check a little something here. Let me see, it's right here. Okay, we have the first question. What activities do secretaries do in your company? Okay, guys, what activities do secretaries do in your company? Let's see. Let's start with Carlos. Tell me, Carlos, what activities do secretaries do in your company? Uh, in my company, the secretary receives uh, to visit. Okay. Do that. That's one of the activities. Thank you very much. What about with your company, Francisco? Let's see if we can hear you now, Francisco. Uh, she received um, document, she received uh, clients. Okay. She made um, dating. Okay, perfect. Remember, receives, makes. Receive. When we talk makes. about he or she, remember, at the end of the verb, Anes. Yeah. Receives, checks. Okay, perfect. Yesenia, what about in your case, Yesenia? What do secretaries do in your company? <laughs> in my company, the secretary is. Pero vean. No sé cómo se dice correspondencia. Mail. Mail. Ah, okay. Um, receive mail. Okay, receives mail. Um, what else? Contesta el teléfono. Answers, um, answers the phone. Answer the phone. Okay, but look uh, at me, look at me, look at me. You say it? Answers, okay. answers. Answers. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Eh, no sé. Another one? Do you have another one? Eh, también. Eh, Quiero ver. Eh, prepare a document. Okay. You got the idea. Eh, you got the idea. Just remember. Prepare. Prepare document. Pre prepare document. Docu. Document. Document. Perfect. Excellent. Document. Okay. Thank you very much, Yesenia. Let's see one more, one okay. more, one more. Um, Andrea, tell me, Andrea, what do secretaries do in your company? Mm. Receive people. Okay. Um, answer the phone. Great, excellent. Um, uh, how do you say llevar una agenda? Okay, oh, excellent, excellent. Keep, keep and keep agenda. schedule. Or keep my schedule. schedule. Perfect. Schedule. Okay. Remember, thank you, Andrea. You gave us a nice verb. Keep is usually the verb guardar. But it okay. but also means continue with something. Okay. It also it means continue with something. Right. Like keep on practicing English because it's good for you. You see, in that case, when you have keep on, 
it means continue. Thank you, Andrea. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now, now, now. Let's see. Let's... Sure. Yes, Mister. Ah, uh, en el caso de um, la secretaria, uh, pensemos en que recibe clientes o o, o cualquier tipo de persona. Pero cómo se dice? Se dice customers o, o se dice clientes o clients? ¿Cómo? Okay, okay, okay. Excellent question, Francisco. There's a difference between a client and a customer, okay? Uh, the customers, the customers, they can be clients, but not all the clients are customers, right? Why? Because the customer, it's somebody who go and buys a product, okay? The clients are the ones who buy a product or a service. You get the difference? Yes? So, if you are a customer, it's because you go and buy it. The customer compra un objeto. The client can either buy an object or a service. Okay? So, when you go to when you go to a restaurant the restaurants they provide a service you are a client okay but when you go to to siman for example when you go there you are a customer you get the difference yes teacher pero yes? y entonces una consulta tell me Y los usuarios, ¿cómo se diría entonces? No es ni cliente, no es ni client, ni es ni customer. Entonces, si es un oh. usuario, ¿cómo se diría? Those are users, but what type? What, uh, what area are you to? Mm -hmm. No entendí. ¿En qué área se refiere? Lo que pasa es que, por ejemplo, en el banco donde yo trabajo, Hay clientes y hay usuarios. Por ejemplo, el que llega a pagar la luz, ese no es mi cliente, es mi usuario. Me, o sea, solo llega por, por usar el servicio, pero no es mi cliente porque no tiene una cuenta conmigo, no sí, tiene un crédito padre. conmigo. Actually, actually in, that case, in that case, Yesenia, it is a client. In English, it is a client. Okay. Ah, ok. Es mi cliente. In, yes, in English, it is. In uh, Spanish, in Spanish, due to the, the the quality of your company, they make a difference. But okay. in English, it is a client. Okay. In English, it's a client. Yes, because you are you provide a service for them, right? Okay. Usted igual le provee un servicio. Sí. So in English, it is a okay. client. Okay, very good. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much. Okay. Any other question? Thank you very much. Any other question? No? Okay, let's continue. No, thank you. Thanks. Let's continue. Let's continue because I see some faces that are like this, like uh. So let's continue with the class. Okay, guys. First, the conversation. But okay, 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 okay. We are going to do a different type of exercise right now, okay? I'm going to explain it to you and I'm going to explain the objective. Let me just do something new. Remember, right now, I just need you to listen, okay? So let me start. What does Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hard-working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, now remember, now you listen 
and you repeat in your house. Don't open the microphone. Do not open the microphones, okay? I'm going to mute everybody. Just listen and repeat on your own. That's the way we are going to do the activity first. Listen and repeat in your house. What does Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Now, I am going to share with you the dialogue according to the manual. Remember, this is the Insaforts manual that you have. Okay, I'm going to share it with you so we can check out the conversation. Now, what I need you to do is just to listen and read the conversation, okay? What does Dominique do? Well, what does Dominique is... do? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, just, just listen, just listen. What does Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, guys, any questions about vocabulary? Do you have any questions, please? It's perfect. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Then we need the dialogue because somebody, some of you perhaps don't have it. I'm going to get you the picture of the dialogue so you can have it. Listen to it one more time because then you are going to listen. What does Dominique do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, guys. Now, you ready? I'm going to divide you in pairs. You are going to have, now we are going to go faster because we have more to cover today. You're going to have just two minutes to practice. Chief roles, okay? Chief roles in the conversation. And let's do it right now. Let's see, I think we are going to be exactly in pairs. Yeah, we're gonna be in pairs. So. Let's jump in. Hurry up. Two minutes from now. Okay. Oh, there's Carlos. Great. Hello. Practice, 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 guys. Is you ready? Yes. Okay. What does Dominic do?
Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? She is the first person to arrive in the office. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please listen to me. First. 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 Perfect. First. Continue. First sorry. Again. Arrive. 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 Early. Yeah. She, she is third person to ar arrive in the office. No sé es de arrive, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Tengo duda. Uh, arrive. 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 Teacher, and, and, the, and the word absolutely. 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 Ah, ok. Uh, ok. Uh, si tenemos tiempo, uh, cambiem. Oh, ok. You, no, you got one minute. You got one minute. Tiene todavía. Ah, ok, ok. Okay, let's see who's going to go first. Uh, Noemi and Wendy, please. You're first. Hi. Hi. You're the first ones. Sir. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she takes reports and sends email every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, perfect, excellent. Just remember, first, the first person to arrive. Right. Thank you very much. Now, okay. Helen and Mariela, please. Helen. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arise early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okie dokie, perfect, excellent, very well done. Now, Carlos Alberto and Felicita, please. Okay. Uh, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see, what does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point, well, she types reports and send emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay. Very well done. Just remember, Carlos, types. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's hurry up. Carla Marielos and Walter Mauricio, please. What does Dominic, Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. 
where she takes, report and send in May every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. That she arrived early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Very well, excellent, excellent. Just first, first, first. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alonso Antonio and Fausto, please. Okay, Alonso, comienzo. Alonso. What does Dominic? What does Dominic do? Okay, our well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well. He types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, excellent. Very well done. Just remember Alonso. Secretary. Secretary. Okay. Secretary. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now, 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 let's see. Francisco and Grecia, please. Okay, I am Sonia. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day, exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she does report and send emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the third person to arrive in the office. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very well done. Just remember, Gracie and Francisco, arrive. She's the first person to arrive. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That was Gracie and... Francisco. Now, Andrea, Natalie, and Jorge Reyes, please. Okay. What does Dominic do? Uh, well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, uh, she type reports and sends in emails every day. She is a uh, her working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, perfect. Just remember, secretary, secretary. Secretary. Reports. 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 Perfect. Excellent. So now let's see, let's see. Uh, Eliani and Yesenia, please. Empiezas tú. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh. See you, see your point. Well, she te, she types reports, reports and sends emails every day. She is a working woman. Absolutely. Does she er, arrive early? Yeah, she is the the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, perfect. Remember, reports, reports. Reports. Hard working and, are, and first, first. Okay, first. very well done, very well done. I'm going to pronounce it one more time for you guys. Just listen and read, please. What does Dominic do? Well, 
She's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, guys. Very well done. Excellent pronunciation. Just a little bit that we are going to be fixing. Let's see. Now let's continue. Okay. Before we pass to the PowerPoint presentation, I want to know what is the correct here in this exercise? Type or type? Types. 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 She types, types reports. Types. Right. What about in number two? Do or does? Does. 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 Excellent. And in number three, does she arrive or arrive? Arrive. 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 Okay. Arrive. Yes, because we have the auxiliary. That means that right yes. now we are going to the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Let's see. Just let me see. Hmm, I got more people now. Excellent, excellent. Let's start with the presentation. Let's see, where do I have it? Oh, right here. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. I don't know what happened. Here we go. Okay, guys, we are beginners too. Now, the present simple tense. Okay. Positive and negative. Remember, in the affirmative, we have just the subject and the verb and the complement. I like cheese. We like cheese. You like cheese. They like cheese. Affirmative. Okay. Disculpa que lo, que lo interrumpa. Yes. Este, se mira un poco pinceleada la, 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 la imagen. No sé si la puede mejorar. Sí, se puede. Well, actually, tal vez... that's... Siento... Yes, I can. Realmente ahí eh, lo que el sistema me da ya es optimizada esa imagen. Ah, ok. No problema. Ok. Teacher, es por la resolución que tiene en su pantalla. Well, it could be, it could be, let me see. Just give me a second then. Because, okay, hold on just a second. Oops. Oh, but right now I cannot minimize this screen. I cannot fix it right now. For tomorrow I will okay, have fixed, okay? Because as I am recording okay, the it, class, it, it, Es la resolución de su pantalla, el, el monitor. Sí, el problema es que como en este momento estoy grabando la clase, no puedo minimizar Zoom. Ok. No me permite. Otherwise, I will try to fix it. So, let's continue. Let me see. The idea is this. Remember, when we have uh, the, the positive, just the subject, the verb, the complement. But when it is negative, remember, we have the auxiliary do or does. In the case of I, we, you, and they, we use do. In this case, as it's negative, I don't like cheese, we don't like cheese, they don't like cheese. When we talk about the third person, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, este, perdón, el silencio a todos en este momento para que podamos escuchar, porque se escuchaba un poquito de interrupción, ok, me disculpan. Ok, so, he likes cheese. If you remember for the third person singular affirmative, we use the S. He likes cheese. She likes cheese. It doesn't like cheese. Now, that's that we must remember all the time, okay? That uh, when we are talking about, when we are talking about the third person singular, third person singular is he, she, or it. 
Okay? Remember, we are talking about he, she, or it. When we talk about he, she, or it, we add in affirmative the letter S to the verb. Okay? Like he plays, she dances, he works, it rains. Right? Remember that. When we talk about the third person, if you remember, when we are talking about the third person, we are talking about, okay, we are talking about he, she, or it, right? And in this case, if we have the verb, any verb, like work, remember we add s works we have the verb like dance dances play plays okay that's when we talk about he she or it affirmative remember just affirmative that applies just for the affirmative okay in the negative, when we are talking about he, she, or it, we use the auxiliary does. In la forma negativa, lo que hacemos es utilizar el auxiliar does. Okay, the auxiliary, what is the meaning? Don't make it complex. No se compliquen con qué significa el auxiliar. Nada. But it gives us the idea that the verb is in present. Okay? Pero nos da la idea, nos transmite la idea que el verbo, la oración, la acción se entiende presente. I'm explaining this because for the future, what you're going to do? Just change the auxiliary. Para el futuro, ¿qué va a hacer? Solo cambiar el auxiliar. For the past, in affirmative, in negative and interrogative, just change the auxiliary. Okay? So that's why auxiliaries are important in English because they tell us the tense of the sentence. Nos dicen el tiempo de la oración. Okay? They tell us how to understand the verb. Nos dicen cómo entender el verbo. That's why we have them. Now, let's continue. Today we are not going to see questions. Okay? We are not going to focus on the questions. And for the thing that you were telling me about the resolution, that's the highest resolution. Esa es la resolución más alta que tengo. Okay, now let's see. Let's continue. Remember, we have do and does. When we have questions, question as I told you, we are not going to be to make a lot of questions, but I'm going just to explain a little bit. In the questions, what we have is that they change place. Do I like cheese? Do you like cheese? Do we like cheese? Do they like cheese? En la pregunta, el auxiliar y el sujeto cambian de lugar. Auxiliary, subject. Verb, complement. Third person, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. And remember, if you see this ES here, esta ES que va acá, es la que le agregaríamos al verbo en afirmativa. So, the auxiliary takes by itself the ES. That's why the verb goes in the base form. Por eso el verbo se entiende en su forma base. Esto le vamos a llamar forma base. Cuando el verbo no está conjugado en ninguna forma. Okay? That's the base form. Does he like cheese? Does she like cheese? Does it like cheese? When we say it, perhaps we're talking about the rat, the mouse. Okay? Now, answers. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. But with this, don't worry. We are not going to work with this right now, okay? Habits. Now, something that is very important for us is to understand that every verb expresses an idea. And yesterday, I was explaining a little bit of this. The verbs, the tense of a verb expresses an idea. And the simple present is used to express different things. Let's check out what are the usages. Vamos a ver los usos, okay? Now, habits. 
we use the present simple to talk about things we do all of the time. Look, we use the present simple to talk about things we do all of the time. Okay, what will be? Examples. I guess the service bus at seven every morning. Every morning, you see? John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. This is a time expression. I play football at break time. I play football at break time. My sister goes sailing on weekends. My sister goes sailing on weekends. You see, in these cases, as they are affirmative, if you check out when we talk about John, brushes. My sister goes. When I talk about I play. And if you notice, we are talking about habits. Things we do all of the time. Okay? Now, let's see. We're going to talk a little bit about habits. Uh, let's see, let's see. Andrea, tell me one of your habits. Look at the example, Andrea. Like in my case, let's see. Uh, I, I brought my every day before going to bed. What about you? Can you tell me one habit you have? I brush my teeth. Okay, perfect. Let's see, what about you, Mariela? Can you tell me another one? Thank you, Andrea. Um, I get up and take a shower. Okay, I get up and take a shower. Or you can tell me, I take a shower as soon as I get up. Simple. Thank you very much. What about you, Carlos? Mr. Carlos Bautista, what about you? Habit you have? Hello. I have it. Uh, I take my breakfast at 7 o'clock every morning. Okay, perfect. Now, in this case, and that's very good, interesting. Thank you very much. What Carlos says, it's something, it's also still simple present, but uh, it's a routine. And we are going to talk about routines a little bit later on. Now, we also use the simple present for things that are always true. That's called facts. Es lo que llamaríamos hechos, cosas que siempre son reales, verdaderas. Let's look. The sky is blue. Simple, no, that's a fact. The sky is blue. The earth goes sound. I am a student. SCB is on the Asian side of Istanbul. This is a city, okay? Tigers are big cats. School starts at 8.05 a.m. and finishes at 3.30 p.m. These are facts, things that are always, always true, always the same idea. Now, let's remember, this is very important. When we have verbs ending in ch, s, sh, o, x, we add es. Watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fixes. Remember, verbs ending in ch, s, sh, o, x, we add es. Verbs ending in a consonant, b, c, d, f, g, they change the y to I, E, S. Look, we have 
study. We have carry. We have fly. Studies. Carries. Fly. Now, let's see. Do he like basketball? What's the correct sentence, please? There's a mistake here. Help me out. Whoever, no problem. Cualquiera, ayúdeme. What's the correct sentence? Yes. Yes. Please, say the sentence. Uh, does. 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 He likes. He likes. Does. He likes. Does. Basketball. Does. Basketball. Perfect. Excellent. Now, look. I likes eating pizza. I like eating pizza. I like. I like. I like. Perfect. Thank you. She do her homework on the service bus. She, she does. does. She her does her, her yeah. homework on well the service bus. Well done. Now, the film finishes at 8. The, the finishes. The film finishes. The, the film, film finished, finished at the film. Okay, now, oh, somebody said correct. Finishes. Finishes. Yes, because finishes. remember when we have S H E S. Yes. Finishes. 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 At A. Perfect. My friends go on holiday next week. My friend goes on. Okay. My friend. My friend. Okay, now listen. My friend. If we have friends in plural, must My be friends. Go. 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 If we go. have friend in singular, is go. So in this case, go. my friends. They go. 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 Yes. Perfect. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Hey. All right, carry because the mistake is here. We need to carry. 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 Little sister. Nicole Kidman act in a lot of films. Okay, what's the mistake? I don't know. <clears throat> acts. 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 The acts. Is because we are talking about chi. Yes. We place in the garden at break. We play. We play. We play. We play. We play. We play. In the at break. Excellent. Now, our teacher talk very clearly. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I know that I talk clearly. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> Any question up to here? Any question, guys? Alguna pregunta? No? Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wow, it's 9 p.m. already. Wow, nice. Se nos va el tiempo volando. Please, I'm sorry, guys, again, the attendance. So let's do it fast. Pausa Antonio Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara. Present. Uh, Carla Diazet Colocho. No. Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present. Thanks. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Present. Thanks. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Felicity Pereira. Present. Thank you. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Thanks. Helen Maria Chavez Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. 
Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla Gómez. No? Ok. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Ok. Alonso Antonio Turcios. Present. Thank you. Andrea Natalie Espinalo Mansor. Present. Thank you. Wendy Azucena Pérez Hernández. Present. Thanks. Pedro Antonio Hernández. Present. Perfect. Okie dokie, guys. Let's see. Yes, we are right. Excellent. Let's continue. Any about the simple present? ¿Alguna pregunta del presente simple? No questions? No. A mí no me mencionó en la lista. I'm sorry. You are Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado. Right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mariela. Thanks. Okay. So, no questions? Shall we continue? Continuamos? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, Let's check out what the manual says about this. Let's check it out. Okay, guys. Let's see, let's see. Uh, like this is better. Now we have the simple present for third person singular. Remember, he checks. He Dominique goes, eat life, or eat sex. I am so sorry. Okay. Now, remember, this is for the third person. And remember, guys, well, that we have also a third person singular. Singular and plural. In this case, the plural, they. Third person plural is they. The third person singular is he, she, or it. Okay? He, she, or it is third person singular. And then we have third person plural. They, my coworkers go. The employees like. Okay? Now, look at this. In when we have the question, the difference is this. In this case, here we have first the subject, then the verb. Okay? But in this case, when we have simple present, yes, no question. Does he? Does she? Okay? The auxiliary comes to the beginning. El auxiliar viene al inicio. Okay? Does he? Does she? Do we, do you, do they. But with this, we are going to work tomorrow, okay? Remember how to use the simple present. We use it for daily activities like routines, schedule, events, time table, okay? That's the way we use the simple present thing. When we are talking about routines, schedule, a events, habits, facts, that's simple present tense, okay? Any question up to here? No? Okay, guys. Yesterday, if you remember, we were talking about the routine of one weekday. But what about your weekends? Now, you're going to... I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you are going to have 10 minutes to talk about your routine for a Sunday morning. I need you to please tell your classmate at least five sentences about your daily activities. But pay attention to this, okay? The activity is the following one. Let's do it like this. Okay. Let me see. Okay. The activity is the following one. 
tell your classmate in the breakout room three things or three activities you do on Sunday morning. And two activities you don't do on Sunday. So you are going to use affirmative and negative. Now remember, when we come back here, I'm going to ask you about the activities. I'm going to ask you about the activities your classmate do your classmate does or doesn't okay that's what i'm going to ask you you are going to answer to me you are going to tell me the activities your classmate does or doesn't okay so you are going to tell your classmate three things you do on sunday morning and two activities you don't do on Sunday. And to me, you are going to tell me the activities your classmate does or doesn't. Okay? Do you understand the activity? Yes? No questions? Preguntas sobre la actividad? No. Okay. Yo sí, teacher, perdón. Le voy a preguntar en español porque no sé cómo preguntar en inglés. Tell me, tell me. Vamos a hacer tres, tres actividades que hicimos el domingo en la mañana, no. para entender bien. Listen, 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 listen. We are talking simple present, routines. Okay? Ah, rutina. Yes, from a Sunday morning. Three things you do and two you do not do. Okay? But the trick is this. When you come back here, cuando regresemos acá, Okay, when we come back here, you tell me about your classmate. So you are going to talk about he or she, right? So be sure to take notes. Yeah. Ready? Five minutes yeah. tops. Five minutes tops for this activity. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to... Oops, I'm sorry, no, it's not this. I need to do this. Okay, breakout rooms. Let's do it, guys. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check out what everybody is doing right now. Con usted creo que Lucín no congresa. I wait up. Uh -huh. I wait up at 9 a.m. Okay. Yeah. Blanca. Blanca, wake up. Wake up. 
9 a.m. 9 o'clock. Uh -huh. I clean my house. She cleans your house. Her house. Her house. Her house. I I spend time with my son. You me? I spend es como pasar tiempo. Ah. I spend time with my son. Y tres cosas que no hago. I don't work. I don't work. Um Mm -hmm. I don't cook. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I don't homework. Sorry, no. guys. By mistake, I took you out. Perdón, por error lo saqué. You still have two more minutes, okay? So you can you can work still. You still got two more minutes. You can go to the breakout rooms. Please. Todavía tenemos dos minutos. Podemos ir a los breakout rooms. No me parece. Salas. Mm. You finish, guys? Yes. The Ayilam. Oh, ya revisé. Ya, ya revisé. Ah, ok. Ya lo tengo guardado para ver luego. Ok. Este, Carla, ahí tal vez me manda las suyas. Aquí viene de. Uh, no tomo café en la mañana. I don't. I don't drink I don't coffee. Drink coffee, okay. okay. In the morning. Pero primero, primero me lo tiro así en español y lo trato después de. <laughs> he doesn't. De, de traducir. Okay, perfect. Alonso, he doesn't. He doesn't he drink, drink coffee. Drink co Drinks? No, he, does, he doesn't drink. Drink coffee. Sí, yes, yes. Drink. Ahí lo puse. No, drink. 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 Mm -hmm. Coffee. Alex, no corre. La misma, quería yo también. Hello. Hola. ¿Finish? Andrea does not run today. No, solo las negativas. Están Andrea doesn't. Andrea doesn't not. Andrea doesn't run is Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. Okay, guys. We still have 60 seconds. 60 seconds nos quedan, okay? Okay, okay. I meant that, I told me.
We are just waiting for the rest of the class to come here, okay? Let's just give them a second. They're coming. Okay, let's see, almost everybody's here. Now, I guess everybody's here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Blanca Margarita. Okay, guys, you're just going to tell me one affirmative and one negative about your classmate, okay? Okay. One affirmative um, and one negative. My partner uh, was Noemi. And she got up at eight o'clock and she doesn't sleep during of the day. Okay. She gets up. Okay. She gets up. She gets up. Perfect. She gets up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Carlos, tell me about your classmate, please. Okay. My classmate is Felicita. Uh, she goes to the church in the morning and the negative uh, she doesn't wash dresser in the morning okay thank you very much now fausto tell me about your classmate please my classmate uh, is alonso uh, he weighs weighs up at uh, 10 Clock. Okay. Uh, uh, he doesn't go to short. Perfect. Just remember, Mister. Wakes up. Wakes up. Okay. Wakes up. Thank you, Felicita. Okay. Please. Good. One affirmative, one negative. Uh, he go to. A uh, church, he not no or no he doesn't go to the court. Okay, he goes in the affirmative. He goes. He goes. He Perfect. Goes. Thank you very much, Pedro. Please tell me about your classmate. Yeah. Uh, Let's see, Pedro, please activate your microphone. Okay, perfect. My class is Alejandra. She watch in the morning. She like drink the coffee and the breakfast. Yeah, um, she Wash, wash the, the in the morning. Okay. Watches. 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 Ah, okay. Yes, at the end. Remember, because yes. you're talking about third person singular. Usted está hablando de la tercera persona, de ella. Watches. Okay. Watches. Thank okay. you very much. Yesenia. Okay. Thank you, Pedro. Okay. Okay. And Pedro take a uh, Pedro get get up gets up early. Pedro takes a shower. Pedro goes goes to church. In negative, Pedro doesn't get up early. Pedro doesn't take a shower. Pedro does doesn't go to church. Okay. Remember in the affirmative, Pedro takes, Pedro gets up, Pedro goes. Okay. Sí, thank, yes, you. Sí, thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Jorge. Hello. Please tell me about me. No se le escucha, se le corta. 
please tell me about your classmate, mister. Ah, okay. Este, Natalie eh, does not eh, work on Saturday. Eh, does not run on Saturday. And Natalie eh, take eh, Natalie wakes wakes up and had eh, eighteen o'clock at eight at eight. No, teacher, no se le escucha, no le escucho. At eight o'clock. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. Mariela, please. My partner is Helen. Um, Helen takes a shower. And she don't go to the work. Doesn't. Remember, she doesn't. She doesn't. She yes. doesn't go to the work. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Listen. She doesn't go. Okay. She doesn't go. Yeah, no, no. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Francisco, please, your turn. Okay, Grecia. Tell me about Grecia. Grecia goes to the church. Okay. Negative? One negative? Uh, Grecia doesn't go, doesn't go to the work. Okay. Oh, listen. Grecia, Grecia doesn't go to work. Go to work. Yes. Perfect. Sorry. Now, Helen. Yes, Helen? Takes a batch, but she prepares the lunch. She watching movie, movies. She doesn't go to work. She doesn't make breakfast. Okay, remember, takes a bath. Takes a bath. Takes a bath. Takes Perfect. A bath. Thank you very much. Walter, please. My parents, uh, Carla Marielos. Okay, tell me about Carla. Uh, um, negative. Este, este, she don't and work. She doesn't go to work. She doesn't, she doesn't go to work. She does a uh, God would aim. I am. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, okay. That's it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now let's uh, see. Let's los see. Positivas. Yes. Tell me the affirmative. Uh, affirmative. Este, she does a uh, watch TV. I watch TV. Okay. Is the she got a topic? Watches. Remember, watches. it's she watches because you are talking about the third the person. What? Watches. 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 Please. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Thank you very much, Walter. That's it. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's it. Just one and one. Now let's see who hasn't participated. Noemi. My classmate Blanca. She cleans her house. She cleans her house. She doesn't cook. Okay, perfect. She cleans her house. She doesn't cook. Perfect. Excellent. Now let's see. Let's see. Who am I missing? Eliani. Pedro goes. Perdón, Pedro. 
goes goes to the church. Okay. And Yesenia uh, doesn't sleep in the morning. Okay, excellent, excellent. Just remember, Pedro goes to church, not to the church. Pedro goes to church. Thank Pedro you, goes to church. Grecia, you participated already? Hello, mister. Your sentences, please. Okay, my sentences or... Your classmate. My classmate, okay, thank you. My classmate is Javier. Okay. He plays soccer and negative, he doesn't prepare reports. He doesn't prepare report. Javier, do I have a Javier here? Hmm. Okay, now let's see Carla Marielos, please. Francisco. <laughs> oh, Francisco, yes, Francisco Javier. Thank you. Carla. Uh, affirmative Walter played soccer okay perfect he watches TV excellent and negative he doesn't da dancing he doesn't dance Okay, dance. it doesn't dance. Excellent, dance. Carla, very well done. Alonso, Antonio, please. Okay, Alonso, I cannot hear you. Fausto goes to the market. Okay, and, perfect. Oh, uh, he doesn't not drink coffee. Okay, remember, perfect sentences. Just remember, if you have doesn't, is does not contracted. You don't need to say not again. Okay. okay. He doesn't uh, drink coffee. Co what? Who doesn't drink coffee? Fausto. Fausto. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you, Fausto. That's <laughs> so bad. I love coffee. Thank you, Alonso. Thank okay. you. Now let's see, let's see who's missing. Who's missing? Andrea, missing, please. Okay. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrea, oh, look. tell me about your classmate. Okay. Alex wakes up at 7 o'clock. Perfect. Alex brushes his teeth at quarter past 7. Oh, well done. Excellent sentences. Perfect. Oh, Alex, get, pardon, Alex takes a... Uh, Breakfast at eight o'clock. Excellent, thank you, Andrea. Wendy, please. Wendy. Hi. Um, I clean her sorry. Blanca clean her house. Cleans her house. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, perfect. And the negative? She doesn't work. She doesn't work. Cool. So Sunday is resting day. Okay, am I missing someone? Me faltó alguien? No, nobody. Okay. Let's see. Pedro, Pedro, you gave me your sentences? Yes. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, then it's missing. Now let's see, guys. We are going to go and watch something that is not there yet, but I want to show it to you, okay? So let me share with you. Uh, let's see right here. This. Okay. Now we are going to talk about prepositions of time. At, in, on. Because when we talk about simple present, we use prepositions of time. And at is used for a precise time, precise time. In is used for months, years, centuries, and long period. On is used for days and dates. Okay? Remember, on is used for days and day. Now, look. At. We use at for the precise at 3 o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, at dinner time, at bell time, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment, okay? In, in, we use for months, years, decades, centuries, or seasons. So if you can see there, we have, we have in, in May, in summer, in the summer, Hold on just a second. In the 1990s. Okay. In the next century. In the ice age. In the past. In the future. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Now we have on. On is used for days and dates, okay? So, on Sunday, on Tuesday, on 6 March, on 25 December 2010, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve, okay? Now, let's look a little bit more. Look at these examples. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. The shop closes at midnight. Jane went home at lunchtime. In England, it often snows in December. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday is on 20th November. Of November. Where will you be on New Year's Day? Now, here we have to be careful with something. Remember, we use at with the time, the exact moment, the hour, at 9 a.m. We use at midnight, a part of the day. Hello, guys. Is somebody here writing on the screen? Okay, thank you. In England, it often snows in December. So if we have the month, we use in, okay? Now, we have three questions, guys, that we are going to, we are going to ask our classmates, okay? These questions we are going to ask to our classmates. What are the questions? When were you born? What time do you start working? And when is your mother's birthday? Okay? Those are the questions. So, you ready for the questions? For this exercise, just two minutes is enough. For this exercise, two minutes is enough, okay? Okay. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'm sorry, creo que dejaré de usar presentaciones porque mm, al parecer no las logran ver. Hmm. We're just going to be working with the book. Then. 
eh, foto y mandarle al grupo de WhatsApp, por favor. Es que I no did already. Ve. I did already of the, of the main part. Ya les mandé la parte principal. Ah, ok. Ah, y yeah. vamos a buscar otro recurso porque uh, perhaps just with the book and the screen. Let's go to the breakout rooms, but right now you are going to work with somebody else, okay? Let's jump in, two minutes. Two minutes is enough for these three questions, okay? Hello, Miss. Nobody here? Oh, yeah, teacher. Me, me uní, pero me dejó acá sola. Okay, don't worry. I will send you to another group. La voy a enviar a otro grupo. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Vamos a ver, 1987. February 1987. Okay, I'm sorry for the question. Perdón yeah. por la pregunta. ¿Esta captura la hizo de dónde? ¿Del WhatsApp o de la computer? del fue lo único que se vio teacher de la de lo que estaba compartiendo ok mm. uh -huh. pues que no las podemos cuando lanza la imagen se ve bien pero cuando Ajá, y... empieza a pasar un par de segundos la imagen se empieza a pixelear y a distorsionar uh -huh. what a problem Voy a consultar mañana. Si no tenemos otra opción, nos va a tocar prescindir de las presentaciones. Ok. En, y trabajar solamente con el libro. Because it's a problem. Finish? Ready? No. Okay. No, no, no. Eh. Si me preguntan para decirle de usted... Mm. He, no, sería she. She, sería she was, uh -huh. she was born. She was In born. Was born. 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 Okay. Oh, thank you, Mister. She was me, born. Me dijo usted. John eight. Junio, 8 de junio. Okay, let's see. See, we are just waiting for everybody. Okay. 
computer. Let's bring everybody now. Lo siento, señor. Hello, hello. Ready? Let's see. Just let's just wait a second for everybody to come back. Esperamos solo un momentito por todos que vuelvan. And then we can continue with the activity. Okay, let's see. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see, nobody is there lows. No, nobody. Everybody's here. Now, let's see, let's see. Carlos, when were you born? Tell me. You, when were you born? I was born in February uh, 1987. Okay, I was born in? I was born in February 1987. Perfect. What about you, Jorge? When were you born, mister? I born, uh, I born. I was born. I was born on uh, August night. Team. August. August. Perfect. Thank you. Noemi, what about you? When were you born? Noemi, I don't hear you. I was born in March 4th. March 4th. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. And let's see, let's see who else is around here. Eliani, what time do you start working? Every day, tell me. I start working at 7 o'clock. Thank you, perfect. What about you, Pedro? What time do you start working every day? I... <clears throat> Start work in at se, uh, seven o'clock. You start work at seven o'clock. Okay. Seven o'clock. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. What about you, Francisco? Okay. Tell me, what time do you start working? I start working at um, March. Uh, Mars uh, 1000, one, one, hold on, hold on, thousand. hold on, hold on. Francisco, what yeah. time do you start working? ¿A qué horas comienza a trabajar? Oh, what time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, eight. Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. At, at eight o'clock. Perfect. Carlos, tell me, Carlos, when is your mother's birthday? My mother birthday and June uh, 13. Okay, perfect, excellent. Thank you. Before we continue, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me try to do something a little bit different. 
and you tell me if it works, okay? Hold on just a second, guys. I'm gonna try to do something different. Okay. Hold on. Perfect. Uh, I will try to use to, for explaining something, just the PowerPoint app, but not the presentation. Please tell me if you can see it, okay? So let me share with you right now. Where is it? Right. Let's see. Me dicen como ven la imagen, okay? Okay. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. We're going to be working with uh, 40. Hold on. I'm going to work with bigger number. Okay. I was born in, oops, I was born in December 17th, okay? Now, look at this other sentence. I was born on 17th. December. You see, both sentences are correct. But now if you see, in this case I was using in, in this case I am using on. Okay guys, now tell me, can you see it clearly? Pregunto, yes. ¿se ve claro? It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Yes. Perfect, thank you. Now, what we are going to do then, I'm sorry. Pero, entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es que voy a poner la PowerPoint, but not the presentation. Okay? Let's try. Perdonen que los moleste, solo porque me interesa que, que, que sí veamos la actividad. No problem, teacher, no problem. La idea es que ustedes puedan aprovechar el material que se prepara. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver acá. ¿Qué tal la hora? ¿Se ve? Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. 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 Very good. It's clear. Good. Okay. It's so that clear. Means, that means that this is better for you. Así se ve mejor. No. No. Yeah. Como que se movió y se ve un poquito diferente. Desde el principio se miraba bien. El primero se veía bien. Let's see. What about here? Yes. Clear. This, this is clear. This is clear? Okay. Yes, Perfect. it's clear. So, look, what I was explaining a few minutes ago was this. At precise time, in months, years, decades, centuries, seconds, and on for days and dates. Now, <laughs> if you notice, if you notice, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. If you notice, guys, here we use in for months and years and on for months and dates. What does it mean? I was showing you about the dates. So, and when I was showing you about the dates, I'm sorry, let's see. Okay, when I was showing you about the dates, I was showing you this. In this case, when I say I was born in December 17th, it's okay that I use in because after in comes the month. In the second one, when I say I was born on 17th December, it's okay because after on comes the number and then the month. Okay? Now, something that usually they do not explain to you is that when you say this, when you speak, just when you speak, you say D. I was born in December the 17th. You say it, you do not write it. Se dice, pero no se escribe, okay? In the second one, I was born on. 
Again, look, you do not write it, de nuevo, usted no lo escribe, but you say it. On the 17th of December, okay? I was born in December the 17th. I was born on the 17th of December. This word and this word are not written, actually. But when you read the sentence, you say them, okay? And remember, it's okay on because we are talking about the number. It's okay in because we are saying the month. And both are correct. Both ways to say it are correct. Do you understand? Yes? Okay. I'm sorry if you can answer in English, perfect. If you can answer in Spanish, it's okay for me. La idea es, quiero saber, ¿se logró ver mejor la presentación cuando pongo solo la aplicación sin activar la presentación? ¿Logran ver la imagen? A veces sí. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cuando la puse al inicio sí se veía claro, pero después ya se empezaba a ver más borroso. Ok, es cuando solo se, de solo se ve, solo se ve cuando está escribiendo, pero la presentación en sí se ve borrosa. Ok, thank you. I will work on it then. Ok, guys. So, any question about this? About the simple present? No questions? Ok, let's continue, let's continue. I was asking you. Hello, Yesenia, tell me, when were you born? I I was um, I was I born was I was born um, uh, Julio. No sé cómo se dice Julio. July. Juli. July. 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 Um, ahí dejo el año pendiente. No problem, no problem. <laughs> I'm interested in, that, in the fact that if you say on, you say the number, okay? On the 20, on 15, on 6. If you say in, you say the month, okay? Like Mariela. Mariela, tell me, when were you born? I was born in September 13. Okay. I was born in September 13. Okay, what about you, Yesenia? When were you born? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No problem, no problem, it wasn't you. Carla, when were you born, Carla? Hello, Carla, can you hear me? Uh, I couldn't hear you. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's continue. Let's try somebody else. Uh, Walter, when was your mother? When is your mother's birthday? When is your mother's birthday? Tell me, please. Mm, his mother's birthday. Uh, to live in, in November. Okay. Her birthday is in November 11th or her birthday is on 11th November. Okay? Oh, okay. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you. Now, remember, let's make a small review. When we talk about simple present tense, we are talking about Habits, facts, routines, okay? When we talk about simple present tense, we are talking about habits, facts, routines. When we say habits, it's like, uh, I shave regularly, okay? I brush my teeth before going to bed. That's an habit. I reading books. I love it. I enjoy it. Facts. Hechos. 
My name is Douglas Arevalo, okay? This is your English class. You are in an English class. We work every day from 8 to 10 p.m., okay? Okay. Those are facts. Now, routines. When you say routines, we must be careful because we say the frequency or the regularity, okay? I shave, I told you first, I shave frequently. I shave every other day. Okay? That sentence, it's specifically a routine. And what I told you is, I shave every other day. I shave every other day. I shave every other day. What do I mean when I say I shave every other day? Me rasuro. That's when you say every other day is one day yes, one day no, one day yes, one day no. Okay? That's every other day. For us will be in Spanish like un día sí, un día no. That's okay. every other day. Clear? Clear. Okay, perfect. Any question, guys? Preguntas? No? Okay. No. Now, in the forum, you're going to place one, you're going to place an affirmative and a negative sentence about your activities from Sunday, okay? But okay. Before, before we finish, before we finish, I'm just going to say the names again for the 10. Let's, Antonio, present. First, also, present. Also. Thank you. Present. Carla Marielos. Present. Mariela de Los Angeles. Present. Carla Adiaset. Eliani Alejandra. Present. Walter Mauricio. Present. Soy la Noemí. Present. Ok, thank you. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present. Thank you. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña. Present. Thanks. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Present. Thank you. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Present. Thanks. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Thank you. Grecia Yulisa Pereira. Present. Thank you. Helen María Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla Gómez. No. Francisco Javier Villacor, Villatoro Canales. Present. Thank you. Alonso Antonio Turcios Berizuela. Present. Thanks. Andrea Natalie Espinalo Manzor. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Azucena Pérez Hernández. No here. Pedro Antonio Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I will work trying to fix the problem with the images. Voy a tratar de mañana trabajar con las imágenes, a ver si las logro arreglar. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good Bye -bye. night. Bye -bye. Thank you, mister. Oh, thanks to you. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.